Hey guys, so I'm here to do another review of John Carpenter's Christine, based off of the novel by Stephen King. And some of you will probably be saying, well, no shit. I already knew that it was based off of a Stephen King novel, Captain Obvious. Well, so I'll be. Yeah. I, I rewatched this in around beginning of the year, and I could tell you the whole backstory about me in this movie, but... You know, I don't think that the people watching this video care. You're like, Eric, get to the point. What would you think of the movie? All right, all right, all right. The movie's actually pretty good. Now, is it the best horror movie ever made? No. Is it the best Stephen King movie? Now, that is up for debate, and I'm sure that some people will say no, which uh, which is fine, because we're all entitled to our opinions. And yes, I have read the the novel. That was a long time ago. Nine years ago was when I read the novel. Yeah, a long time. And honestly, I vaguely remember the novel. All that I remember was that I was in sixth grade and they were talking about blowjobs and there were swear words. I was like, yeah, this is the kind of novel I'm reading as swear words. And they're, and they're talking about girls sucking on guys' peters and... Yeah, it's violent. Yeah. And I also remember that. And I also remember that they give a backstory to the car, Christine. Now, a lot of people will whine and complain about movies changing st stuff from the book that they're based off of. But now here, there are changes. And because that this is a film by John Carpenter, and I love John Carpenter. This should come as no surprise because it's John Carpenter. In this, you do not get a backstory of Christine. And I actually do not mind that because it builds more mystery. And what I like about this film, just like in John Carpenter's The Thing, you don't know who The Thing is. In this movie, you don't really know if it... You don't know if the car it really is haunted, or you don't know if Arnie is just going insane. You don't know. You know, it just gives you that sense of paranoia. And John did that fl flawlessly. Near flawlessly in this film. The acting is... The acting is great. You you are sympathetic for the main character, Arnie, Arnie Cunningham. It's just, whenever I hear that last name, it always makes me think of Sean. It makes me think of Sean S. Cunningham, the creator of Friday the 13th. You know, it's just, maybe maybe that is just me. It's the, and the nerd actually, and the nerd like actually gets the girl. How many movies out there are, are there about the nerd getting the girl? Now, yeah, people could probably name a lot, but, you know, this gives more of, like, a realistic a approach. Like, oh, she can't just fall for you, you know? You have the feeling, like, that she's falling for him because she actually thinks that he's a nice guy. And because of his car. Now, for the most part of this film, what really dates this film is the girl's clothes. Like, her socks. That's so outdated. But everything else, it's it holds up. The music is great. The suspense, John builds a lot of suspense, and all of the scenes in the car, like the windows, are completely black. You cannot see a thing, and that and that was very smart. So then, therefore, it just helps you guess. Going back to what I said, is the car really haunted, or is Arnie just going nuts? And really, other than that, that's really all I got to say, guys. Good movie.